future wives, welcome back to the wife side. I am Lako Hansen, and if you are a new wife or new future wife, I need you to do three things for me. One, I need you to find that subscribe button below and click it. Two, I need you to find that notification bell that should be next to the subscribe button and click it so you can be notified when I post new videos. I upload videos every Sunday. And then three, I need you to always come back and watch these videos that I post. So for my old wives and old future wives, thank you so much for clicking on this video again and supporting your girl. So today I am at home. I actually just got done with my hair again. If you haven't seen my hair video, how I get this style, um, make sure you check out that video because I just did a video on that. But today I am getting ready to pack because we are headed out of town. We are about to go visit my family, which I haven't seen some of my family, actually a lot of my family in like three years so I'm super excited we are going out there to visit them and I need to pack so um I've already kind of started but I started with my hair because I needed to do my hair I wanted my hair to be fresh for my fam <laughs> um but I need to heat up my bear flu because I came down with like I don't know my throat has been hurting lately and I hope like heck that I'm not getting a strip throat. Babe is already sick. He already went over his sick, got over his sickness. And I don't ever really get sick, but I just wanna like my throat when I wake up in the morning, it's been hurting a little bit. So I wanna make sure it is good. But like I said, in this video, I'm just gonna bring you all along as I pack. I am a last minute packer. We are only going out there for a couple of days. So I don't need to pack that much. Um, but we are going to be taking pictures when I'm out there. So I need to make sure that I pack the color coordinating colors or the coordinating colors. I'll pack the coordinating colors that is needed. But let me tell you about these people. We can't never figure things out. Your family like that as well too. Like where y'all supposed to do something and nobody can ever be on the same page like that's my family although i love them i'm excited to see them um that's what they do so we were supposed to, we are supposed to take pictures my mom is finally going to have all of her kids together all seven of them are going to be under one roof which is so crazy and then my brothers they have their kids so she has like 30 grandkids already and then me and babe my brother and his wife so it's just gonna be really fun my cousins are gonna be out there um babe has pretty much met all of my family other than two people um so he'll be meeting two new family members um but yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see them i'm excited for uh, us to just be able to hang out with people who just know me like these people they like know me know me like you may know me but they know me know me <laughs> so let's go Okay, so I'm in our room, which looks like a mess because I'm a last minute freaking preparer. Honestly, babe hasn't even packed yet and he is not even home and it's two o'clock. I know traffic is gonna be bad. It's two o'clock and actually it's like 2.30 if I'm not mistaken. It's like 2.30 and we need to leave here by four and I have nothing at all packed whatsoever. So, I'm only taking my duffel bag, so this is the bag that I'm gonna be taking. And let me tell you ladies, I am not like this pro packer, like I don't really care. I'm not like all fancy and stuff, like we are going to the airport. This is going to be packed to the capacity because I am gonna be bringing both cameras. And yeah, like I'm not like a, I'm not like this whole big, you gotta be packed like this type of person. So let me show y'all what I'm taking. So this is my gym bag. 
this is what I'm gonna be taking and it pretty much already has like I always carry this stuff around with me just like my penny liners my deodorant my medication some toiletries some edge dressing which I don't use I can take that out my EpiPen some tweezers <laughs> this is literally what I carry around every time I go anywhere if I go to work I take this and some fingernail clippers just in case babes toenails get long and then some Kleenex so that's already packed I don't need to really add much to this I just want to kind of straighten it up a little bit I also have lotion in here because you know your girl is that winter is that winter time so we be dry around here we gotta put some lotion on and some toothpaste okay this looks better right no you don't want to focus today the camera doesn't want to focus okay this looks better so that's that for some reason i have an umbrella i don't need that in there and then car insurance don't need that in there either i don't know why my car insurance is in there I probably need to put this in my car. Okay. And then a pencil that has lids. So we're going to keep that in there. So next I'm going to worry about what shoes I'm going to bring, which I'm going to bring my workout shoes. I'm actually going to wear my workout shoes because they are so comfortable. These are them. This is what my workout shoes look like, my running shoes. These things are so comfortable, so I'm gonna wear these to the actual airport. So I'm gonna lay those out, cause you know, we're gonna be walking. We're probably gonna be running to the airport because we're gonna be running late. But I'm also gonna bring my beloved winter combat boots. I love these boots. I think I got these from Target like three years ago and I wear them every winter. I don't wear them any other time, but in the winter, these are my favorites. So I'm gonna bring these. And they're super comfortable and they are so comfortable and then i am going to bring some jeans yeah my closet is a mess so i'm gonna bring these blue jeans and these blue jeans so two pairs of blue jeans next we are going to look at what type of shirts we are going to wear. So, um, I didn't used to do this. This is babe's side of the closet. I don't know if he wants his side of the closet shown, but, um, <clears throat> I didn't used to do this, but I don't know. We're only going out there for a few days. Oh, sorry. So I don't usually do this. Well, yes, I do. I didn't usually used to do this, but I have like my favorite jeans and I only have like maybe four pair of favorite jeans. So I really wear them all the time, but I have a whole bunch of shirts. Um, so I sometimes wear my jeans twice. Do you guys do that? <laughs> this is a judge free zone. Ladies do not be judging me. Okay. So let's look at shirts. So, like I said, we are going to be doing photos, and since my family can't come up with what they actually want us to wear, I'm going to bring both the shirts that they want. So, they want to do either blue or white or Christmas sweaters. I feel like I should just take one because I need to maximize my space. So, let's see. So, if they did blue and white, me and babe, we basically have the same clothes. <laughs> So I was gonna do this blue and white button up number. So I'll be packing that. And then if we wanted to do the ugly sweater, I've been having this ugly sweaters for like three years, which I don't think is ugly. I actually think it's really cute. It's just a rainbow or uh, reindeer. And it has like the little jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing, jingle bell huh? Faster and faster and I don't know the song. <laughs> so this will be the um, ugly sweater thing. I wear that every year for our annual ugly sweater contest. And then um, 
my other shirt i've been really into plaid lately sorry the light is crazy but i've been really into plaid lately so i would do this plaid number oh yeah i have to bring my black pants i need to try them on to see if i can fit them because you know your girl picked up some pounds so i don't know if i can actually fit them but we supposed to wear this me and babe we're gonna actually be matching the whole time we're there Unless we wear the ugly sweaters, then we won't match. Well, actually we will because his ugly sweater is green and white. But this is what we'll be matching with. So we're going to wear black pants with these. Do y'all still match? <laughs> Do y'all still match with y'all, boom? Me and babe think it's so cute when we be matching. I don't care. Judge me if you won't. We match. We be matching. I wonder if I should pull babe stuff down too because he's taking a long time. And then I need workout clothes. And I need my pajama pants. I don't know if all of this is going to fit in this little bag. <clears throat> okay. I need to get my pajama stuff and then I'll get my, my other like I need to get my mascara because I don't really wear mask makeup, but I do wear. Can you see that? Can you see your eyes? I wear mascara. Mm. Medicine is so disgusting. Okay, so another weird thing that I do is I pack my own towel. I don't like to use the hotel towels. So I pack my own body towel and then also my own face towel. For some reason, I have no idea why I don't like to use their stuff. But I know this is going to add or minimize the room that I have in my little thing. Because I still have to pack my camera and my computer my computer charger which needs to go on top so that when i go through tsa i can just take it on out and then maybe i should take my carry like a little purse to put that type of stuff in i don't know stuff is gonna fit I don't know what I'm gonna do I need everything in there I really do maybe I could put a pair of pants back mm. that was disgusting oh that was so nasty but yeah since it's just a short trip we don't need that much but you ladies know how we are. We like overpack on everything. And it's three o'clock and babe has not is nowhere to be found. Like, what are they doing at that? Like, Mr. Hansen does not have anything packed, ladies. Like, and I don't know what he wanna bring, okay? So I can't pack him anything. Okay, so in the bathroom I just need my uh, mascara and then I use this witch hazel stuff for my face um every other day. And then I also need my toothbrush and toothpaste. Uh, I don't like to take the toothbrush holder because for me, I don't want, I feel like mold and everything kind of gets in it. So I normally just wrap my toothbrush in my, um, in a paper towel. Cause you know, I love that bounty. Bounty paper towels is good for everything. Um, so I just wrap it up in a tooth, uh, I wrap my toothbrush up in a bounty paper towel because I can switch out bounty paper towels. I cannot switch out a toothbrush holder. So that's what I am gonna do. And I think I'm gonna switch my toothbrush because we recently uh, bought the Colgate um, charcoal toothbrush and toothpaste. And Babe said his teeth felt really sensitive with that. And he normally, when he goes to the dentist, they always tell him he has really, really good teeth. But he said recently it just started to feel like his teeth had gotten sensitive and he never had that happen. And um, so 
he went back to just the regular Colgate medium brush. And then I stayed with the, what is it called? the charcoal toothbrush and a charcoal toothpaste. But then I was like, you know what? I do feel like my teeth are kind of getting a little bit weird too. Um, and I went, so I stopped using the charcoal toothpaste, but I'm still using the toothbrush. And it's just a soft toothbrush and I don't really, I, I feel like I've seen a difference, but I do feel like something is wrong with my teeth now. So I'm gonna stop using the mugs too, cause you know I got time for that. So I'm just putting this stuff in my little travel thing with hopes that it fits y'all i hate 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 staying in hotels i'm wearing my mascara because you know i need my eyes to be popping i hate staying in a hotel and this is why i just don't feel like they ever as clean as i clean like i feel like back in the day people used to actually care about how they cleaned and now i feel like nobody really cares they just go in and try to wipe some stuff down because we went to this one hotel um when we were in wisconsin and it was a brand new hotel it looked so nice and everything like that but i'm like i don't feel like they cleaned up like we went in there it was like tissue places that it shouldn't been and like hair and all that stuff i'm like did they come in like i understand that this is a brand new hotel but did y'all really come in here and clean up i don't know so i don't like to stay in a hotel and i think i think babe may be texting me but i don't know where the phone is okay. i got my toothbrush so i'm gonna just add this in here and i got extra paper towels too so that once i use it i could just replace it with paper towels and I'm pretty sure my mom was gonna have paper towels at her towels too so if I need extra ones I could just get them from her. I don't think you can take this on a plane. Babe tried to set me up. Trying to set me up Mr. Hanson. <laughs> to just add my camera or not my camera I do need to put this camera in there but my computer and because I got homework to do around this camp so I got my computer and it's pretty small so it shouldn't be that bad and then I need to also grab some pictures because we did take pictures and um you know the fan be on some and stuff like that so I'm gonna take them some pictures and I think that's gonna be it. Okay, so we are actually back on here because we had a change of plans when Babe walked in the house because he had his little bitty bag. So I had to put my stuff in a big suitcase because his stuff did not fit in a small suitcase. So let me show you. This is what I just packed empty okay nothing and this is what we're taking out because babe stuff couldn't fit and i already feel like our house is going to be a disaster when we get back that'll be it so we're about to actually get on the road um we were debating if we were going to take an uber or if we were going to drive and we decided that we're going to drive so with that being said, we need to get on the road. Okay, wives and future wives, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, make sure that you one, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I would love to make it to 150 subscribers. We gotta take baby steps to 150 subscribers. And then also to make sure you comment down below if you like to travel and do you do crazy travel hacks and stuff like that. And then also make sure you always come back for some more website. Until next time, watch the future wives.